Okay, let's go. Let's try to locate my camera. Let's go check on these radishes and see what happens. Tasty little guys, they were. Well, this is about as natural of a setting as you could ever have a bath in, isn't it? I got another one here. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. heading back to the locations where Amos and myself spent some time for two reasons. I wanted to check on the radishes and see if they matured because we didn't get back to that spot. Um, they were not ready when we left. I'm just curious to see if they matured. And at the second location in our haste to pack up and get almost to the airport I left my big camera there somewhere uh, I don't know if the camera is going to be any good but it's the chips that are on the camera that is important because that was the last two or three days of the adventure on on the chips so I need to recover that for the video series so that's the objective Shouldn't have forgot the camera, but I did. Somehow I, we were doing our bow drill competition thing. We had a bunch of different cameras when we were doing that, and somehow I forgot to pick up the big camera and bring it. haven't uh, even unpacked my pack so let's take it back I did bring food obviously but I'm gonna go back to the same campsite have a fire set up the hammock where I had it and let's hope that camera is okay I don't know you don't really want to wear your pack down here it's very steep and very slippery it's only been about four days since I dropped Amos off, but it's going to be really cool coming back to the same spot, I think. What are you doing in the water? One thing I notice <laughs> is since I've had a few days since we did this adventure, the pack feels way lighter. All right, first thing to do Try to locate my camera. Not exactly sure where I left it. I see it. Just sitting there. Oh, I can't believe that I did that. But is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know if I should turn the, try even turn it on until I dry it out. It's not coming on, but that could mean that just the battery's dead. I mean, it did rain for a couple of days too, so the SD cards should be fine. Oh no. Yep. Full of water where the SD cards are. I do have a backup camera. 
Yeah, it's full of water, man. Well, we're going to have to try to dry it out and hope it works. Yeah, she's soaked. No point even trying it until I dry it out. But we did recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Finn thinks we're home. Another night at the old camp, Finn. The most showed me how it works, but my mind just doesn't, I guess, work the same as other people where I just cannot figure these stupid things out. Just like ratchet ties confuse me too sometimes. Knots work. Yeah, they do. So you saw me here quite a few times in the same spot. I strung my hammock in the same trees. Uh, I'm going to get a fire going. I did bring a steak, a sweet potato, but maybe a steak's good enough. Fish are jumping just like they were when we were here. I don't think I have to worry about a tarp. I do have it sitting here if it decides it's going to, but it looks like it's going to be nice. Uh, and the camera, I don't, it just doesn't look like it's going to work. Um, maybe if I dry it out good, we'll see. I might be replacing a camera. When you do these adventures, I mean, expect to replace equipment when you're in uh, conditions for a while. Or leave your camera behind. That's the way it goes. Yeah, this is uh, like deja vu. I mean, it was only a few days ago that we were here, but I just envision uh, Mo sitting here in his chair. We did leave the two chairs. If somebody comes and wants to camp in this spot, they'll have a couple of chairs. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. Come back to the spot and, and yeah, you just think about the adventure again, which is kind of cool. And you listen to Finn whine because he doesn't have a stick. Right, Finn? No, 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 no. No, no. It was funny. Uh, Finn knew exactly where we were. And it just seemed like, to me anyway, it seemed like he just expected Amos to be here. <laughs> He's quite the dog. Very affectionate. I think he misses Amos. And uh, he knew that he was supposed to be here. <laughs> He's seen him disappear and come back before when he went out on his kayak trip and uh, his hunting trip. So Finn just expected he was going to be here. He just seemed all excited. But we're out of luck, Finn. Amos went home. Here's Amos's bow drill kit. Spindle. Wood seems pretty wet. I'll just use a lighter though. See if we can get her to go.
your stick. We have steaks in. Checking to see how hot my rock is. And it's one way to keep people from eating your steak too. Hot enough, I just don't want it to stick really. Try to get some fat on there. been hungry right here before. Want a piece then? You have to sit. You have to shake it off. Oh good boy. Gone. Good catch. Looks like the bears have been catching some fish too. There's another one over here. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Looks like they just ate the top half of this one. Hmm, yeah, kind of strange, but. So they ate everything but the head almost on the one. And this one, they ate the head, not the rest of it. Oh well, it's kind of strange. The salmon are obviously starting to die, so it's easier for the bears to catch them. They wash up on shore or whatever, so. I'm sure we'll see bears again tonight, like always. I know you're hungry. You gotta wait a minute. No, 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 no. Hey, you're knocking the camera everywhere again. Boy, oh boy. I don't know about your table manners. Man. The noise you make is just ridiculous. Mind you, I've eaten around some relatives that sound like that too when they eat. Anyways, pretty much dark, so I'm going to head to bed. Um, had my steak and found the camera. At least the chips were in it. Well, the chips should be okay. But tomorrow I'm going to probably head to uh, the other location that we were first at and check the radish garden. I think that would be cool. It would be neat to see if those radishes, did they mature or not. Be nice to have radishes from a garden I planted about a month ago. That'd be cool. A little more than a month ago. I'm going to have to tie Finn up. Um, because every night we were at this location and we just saw signs that the bears have been catching fish along the river or creek. So um, I'm anticipating. It, it would have been great during the, the time we were out here to get video, more video of the bears, but... They just are elusive as far as getting video of them. I'm just running out of things to say. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. Morning. 
to just let Finn Finn off his uh, rope there. He's just running around. He's so happy to be out here in the bush. He just loves the bush, I tell you. I'm gonna go and uh, check on the radishes, but um, there was a bear fishing on the river here. The bear, I got a little bit of footage of him, but he didn't stick around as soon as he saw me. So I'm not sure if I'm going to spend the night here, maybe. I might just do that because now that I saw the bear, and he was here last night too, because I could hear him walking on the gravel. And I know he caught a fish because uh, Finn started barking. I got him to be quiet. And I could hear the bear walking, jumping in the water. And then the next thing you knew, I could hear a fish flopping definite sound of a fish on the gravel flopping so he got a fish So we're at the trail to our first location. Let's see how these radishes did. It's a bit of a hike. It's a nice trail if you're not packing gear. Finn remembers the trail and where we are. He never forgets. Well, that's the sound I remember for the first part of the adventure. The pounding waves. It's not really windy. Let's go check on these radishes and see what happened. Well, this is the second batch. And it just looks like they just never matured. So what do you do? Now I know. You can't plant radishes too late in the season, I guess. Okay, so these ones are a bit bigger. They're the first ones I planted. But again, it would appear, even though I planted these um, towards the end of August, they just didn't mature. So it's just the way it is. Um, it was kind of an experiment anyway. So I guess we wouldn't have had radishes no matter what, unless we would have planted them probably a month sooner than what I did. But that's the way it is. It was an interesting experiment. And I'm just reminiscing about the time we spent at this location. And uh, it was an awesome adventure. Radish experiment, failure. Actually, I got looking a little bit and that's the size a couple of them got pretty tiny pretty tiny but I'm gonna eat them anyway radish flavor if we would have done this uh, adventure a month earlier I would have had a successful radish garden. Mm. Tasty little guys, they were. A little hot. The radishes tried and I tried. <laughs> That'd be interesting though, you know, if you did a challenge where you come out in the spring, maybe make it a longer challenge where you can actually have some beets and peas and build a garden come out in the spring instead of late summer that'd be cool and Finn get away from that edge you're gonna fall off the cliff man no no come on get down get down you're gonna fall come on 
Get over the router skirt. But it's almost like the seed's new. It was too late in the year. The plants didn't really do anything. Still some salal berries out. Huckleberries are still out. I actually wouldn't mind getting enough huckleberries to make some wine. I got some berries earlier this year and I wanted to make some wine. But it'd be nice to make about five gallons. I mean, not a, not a wine guy anyway. I do a lot of whining, but uh, I don't really like wine. Okay, let's go. And he's off. <laughs> Roosevelt Elk on Vancouver Island near camp. That is a big bull. Good evening. It was an interesting day. Radishes, no dice. Um, it was really cool seeing the elk. Um, but I think I better head out of here tomorrow. Uh, it was neat seeing the bear as well. We'll see you in the morning. Pretty eerie place in the dark. Just all this moss hanging off the trees. Pretty wild. It was interesting spending a couple of days back at the location, the last location we were at. Interesting little adventure just to come back. But I'm going to still do something while I'm here on the island since I had to come back anyway. I wouldn't mind uh, catching a salmon. I think we're going to call it uh, the end for this location and uh, see what other adventure I can get up to since I'm here anyway. Okay, well I'm just trying to catch a salmon to maybe take home, but on the way back it would be nice to get a couple of fish for the smoker. be cool. Pretty slippery down here. Oh yeah. Guy down here got a coal. You're not allowed, Cole. I got one right away, first cast. He got off though. <laughs> like I say, just these pink spinners seem to work. This thing is not spinning. Nice one, eh? <laughs> oh, I got it. Good, you? You're not bad. You know. What are you up to? Oh, I just uh, check the beach. Oh, yeah. Do some fishing, I guess. Especially yeah. Well, this fellow's. Hmm? Just all pinks in here. Um, no, there's coho too. Oh. Yes. Far in between, I imagine. Oh, speak of the devil, there's one there. 
Yeah, there's there's some cool, but you're not allowed to keep them currently in here, right? And yesterday, I don't I don't know. Huh? I don't know if you can keep them. Keep them on the other side as long as they're hatchy. Yeah, well that's what the fellow was saying. I mean, I don't care. A pink would be fine too. He's all tangled. Whoa. I don't know what he's tangled on, but. There, I got him off, but. Well, it's a pink, but it's. This one's going colors. I don't know, should I keep it? I'm only allowed one, so I don't know, he's pretty tiny. I think I'll let him go. There he goes. Yeah, this other fellow over here, he's just using flies and he's catching them every uh, three minutes. I had one on, got off. That guy, I could have kept it. And uh, now what'll happen is, uh, because there is coho in here that you're not allowed to keep, you're allowed one pink. And if I don't get another one, then I guess I'm skunked. I got another one here. But he's foul hooked too, I think. I don't even, yeah. Well, it wasn't hooked that great. I mean, I'm after a silver one though. With the big hook and jaw, put him back. There he goes. Just one for the smoker, it'd be nice. Got another one, you just, I just cast it in and wham, right away. Oh, broke my line. Broke my line. Unreal. Lost my spinner. That's the way it goes. Got another one here, but uh, the silver ones seem to be hard to come by. These ones are almost finished. Tangled on everything. I got other stuff to do, so maybe I'll just keep this guy. Something for a catch and cook, I suppose. a few too oh yeah no I got another one oh he got off too
they're not biting very hard so you they get off easy yeah the coho would be ideal but there's one Just nibbling and then hard to get. I gotta get going soon. Oh, he got off. Oh. So I uh, actually caught quite a few pink salmon at that spot there. Um, I think I landed three and let them all go though. I ended up la leaving the last one go too because they were a little past prime, not very silver. Uh, I had about three get away, landed three, one broke my line. But um, regardless, it was fun catching the fish. Uh, if, if any of them would have been a little more silver, they just weren't ideal for eating. So, But I'm going to go down to this little creek here. And uh, I picked up a gold pan and a shovel. I want to just do a little bit of panning. I haven't panned a lot of these creeks. But uh, let's go check the creek and see if there's any colors in this. I want to try a few creeks on my way back towards home. I don't see any black sand, but there's quartz and granite. Guess you never know. There are heavier types of rock, but I don't see the magnetite. A lot of clay. That's sometimes a good sign. Beautiful little creek. There's black sand in the pan. Quite a bit of black sand, actually. doing really not quite sure I don't see anything oh yeah there is a color very small I'm gonna try some other spots though okay you might even see this one so second pan and there's a little color there you can see it there it is. That's gold for sure. So I am in a small town called Port Alberni on Vancouver Island. I'm really not, I'm just uh, stopped to get a coffee before I try to figure out what to do for the day. Uh, sometimes my work is, is just so secret that even I don't know what I'm doing. Figure out something. But I did notice a hedge here that I want to... A uh, tree that I haven't talked about in the past. Um, there's some Japanese U. Y-E-W. Find something interesting to do. But first talk about the U. There's the yew and the berries, 
like I say this is uh, Japanese yew we have a natural growing yew uh, Western yew here in BC there's a few types do your research again but the uh, needles are toxic you don't want to nibble on them make a tea from them nothing like that and the most toxic part although the berries are edible is the seed inside concentrates the toxins so mmm very sweet you eat around that seed like a cherry basically and then you get this black seed part so the fleshy part is edible but not don't eat the seed don't just stop uh, <coughs> like I say like a cherry so you don't swallow the berry you chew around that seed like a cherry pit but anyway enough about you let's talk about me <laughs> I have a plan now uh, I ran into a guy while I was having my coffee who uh, watches the alone show recognize me and uh, he works at the fish hatchery here and he gave me some information about where to go because they just released a bunch of coho the other day he says well you have to stay uh, 200 meters away from the hatchery but go down the river and uh, that's where the coho will be hanging out so man alive it's uh, one of the benefits of uh, being recognized places is this guy works at the trout hatchery and they just released uh, several hundred coho the other day that are nice and silver up to 15 pounds he said or 5 to 15 pounds he says that's where you want to go so whew, now we got a plan for the day I think he even said that they released some springs or Chinook that are uh, 20 to 30 pounds he said so we can catch both of them as long as we're away from the hatchery man this is just dynamite information right on let's go fishing there's some big salmon for you that guy's got to be 20 pounds just trying to find somebody in charge so i can figure out exactly where i can go fishing Okay, I just talked to the fellow that locks the gate at 3.30 and no issues with me going down 200 meters to fish for them where they let some of them go and uh, boy that's some big salmon in there, eh? <laughs> uh, I allowed one coho, one chinook. A big chinook would be great. This is awesome. Oh, a 20 pound spring. Wouldn't that be something? see the lagoon we have to go to the other end of can't fish the lagoon i was already told that so and i hope this is the river i think it is okay i see the marker i was told about so as long as we're down river from here we're more than 200 meters from the uh, lagoon i see the fish in the river and I can see big ones in there, some nice silver ones. Now, let's see if we can get one to bite. Well, I caught a little trout. There, he got off. But it's not a hatchery, because the fin here is not cut off. So I have to let it go. Get him back in the water right away. Not a salmon like I want, though. Well, I fished for a while, guys. Um, just that little natural rainbow that I had to let go. Uh, the other fish don't seem that interested. But that doesn't mean I may not come back tomorrow. Uh, the battery's almost dead. I should have brought a spare. So I was just going to turn the camera on when I got something like I did with the rainbow. My fishing here is not done yet. But I have to go and check on a friend I haven't seen in a while. And uh, because I lost their contact. And go see if they're around and uh, maybe come back here tomorrow or find another fishing spot 
it's a uh, nice day. Boy, the weather on the island here has been unusually great, which always makes things, whatever you do, more pleasant. Warm t-shirt weather still. Basically October, is tomorrow October? I forget what days, day it is. I don't even know the date. I don't really keep track of that. Maybe she knows where to go and catch some fish too. They just don't seem interested in the pink lure here. And you can't really see me, but I made it to my friend's house and um, Brianne, and she's been in another video a year ago or so. Just gonna go down to the beach. We have a fire going. We'll hang out here tonight. I haven't figured out the plan for tomorrow yet. But this is quite the view if it's going to show up on the camera. Sun's just gone down. Port Alberni Inlet. And we're just going to have something to eat. And Finn is off looking for sticks. Where's your stick, Finn? We'll see what I can get up to tomorrow. Usually find something. Well, I'm going to have a bath. And this is uh, going to be a very scenic bath location. I'm just going to fill up this tub here. Fill it with the water. Light the propane underneath. Heat the water. And then while I'm having my bath, this will be the view. Almost a little too hot right now. But I can soak in this. I got my coffee. And just enjoy the view. Yeah. And watch for whales and uh, sea lions and whatever. I even got some uh, old whales, feel new. Barebonesbalm.com. Some uh, bear fat soap infused with cedar. So this is about as natural of a setting as you could ever have a bath in, isn't it? pretty cool and the soap has uh, got a cedar branch right in it Let's see what well that soap it smells nice lathers just like regular soap look at the lathers yeah Feels good. Yeah, if you're having a bath in this setting, you may as well use bare fat soap <laughs> with cedar. <laughs> Brienne is down there fishing. She's caught one. Oh yeah. Ling cod? Like green colored ling. Oh yeah. There goes a seagull. He's just checking me out. She said there was a sea lion here this morning and you know what she saw? She's got video of this elephant seal right off the uh, shore here. A little while back she saw an elephant seal. I've never seen one so that would have been cool. So I'd like to get on the ferry today and try to get headward, <laughs> try to get onward heading that way but I might give this a little try here because it looked like an interesting little river when I crossed the bridge up here uh, looks like kind of pockets of gravel in the uh, bedrock so I might try a pan or two here and then we got to get to the ferry 
Well, I got to this spot here, and as much as I would like to go down and try some panning, it's just straight down. And then there's a cliff. Unless I got repelling rope, so I'm not getting down here anyway. So, I didn't think it was that bad. I could hear the river. Seemed like I could get down. There's no way down. So, I am trying to get back to the mainland. And it is a three sailing weight, which means I won't even make the last ferry. I should have known better than to try to go back on a Sunday when everybody's going home. Um, sometimes ferries can be a real nuisance getting to and from the island. Stay here, Finn. They found this little section of bush right in town, basically. Uh, quite a big area. I mean, I'm right beside the road, as you can tell. But I'm just going to string my hammock up in a couple of trees here and try to go early in the morning to catch maybe the first ferry. And uh, being a Monday, hopefully I won't uh, have to wait for three ferries or anything like that. I don't know. Hopefully this traffic noise doesn't go on all night, but I'm sure I can at least get a nap. Head down there at 5 in the morning or something for the 645 ferry or whatever it is. I'm out of sight and I want to stay close to the truck. I don't know this town or this part of town at all. I mean, I don't want somebody breaking into my truck in the night, so at least I can keep an eye on it if I stay close to the road here where the truck is. So. Hopefully nobody comes around and says, oh, well, you can't be here or anything like that. There's no signs, so... They'll just think my truck broke down or whatever. They can't really see me through the bush here. I'm sure you all realize that, I mean, this is not what I would prefer right beside a highway in a little bit of bush here, but I'm tired. I wasn't going to spend the whole night sitting in the parking lot trying to sleep in the truck at the ferry terminal. Hopefully it's not a hangout for the teenagers or a party spot for them or something. Um, you never know, I guess. Then I would have to just pack up and go for if I can't take the traffic noise. You know, I watched the uh, Do You Believe in Bigfoot video and something I just wanted to say is I'm not putting anybody down or don't judge anybody's beliefs on the subject. Uh, I think it'd be actually cool uh, to think that if, if they do exist that uh, the mystery is pretty unique and uh, I like to think that they do exist as well but uh, I know a lot of people don't but a lot of people do so the last thing I would do is criticize anybody for believing or not believing morning well it's uh, 4 30 time to head down to the ferry I want to be there early grab a coffee but I got to get to the mainland today but I don't think it'll be as busy I mean it's uh, Monday I didn't really, to be honest with you, sleep that well. I'm not used to traffic noise. I'm used to peace and quiet. And the, the highway, I mean, there's traffic all night. Truckers and whatever, so. Didn't sleep that well, but I got, I got a couple hours where it was pretty good and pretty quiet at one point during the night. So about two in the morning, I imagine. Anyway, I'm just keen to uh, have a visit with Joe on the way home from the island. Right on, let's get going.